y'all welcome back to the browse bunch i know it's been a minute since i've done a video um we just kind of i had strep throat then we all had an upper respiratory infection and even now i got a sinus infection i don't know what's up but we can't kick the sickness apparently but for the last i guess it's been a month since i've been on here um almost i'm pretty sure we have just been enjoying having the kids for the last bit of summer before they started school because they're both going this year obviously he's not but um so they're both starting school and hopefully now that i have a little bit more free time i might get back in the groove of things i just kind of lost my motivation there for a little bit too and look at this big guy he's gotten so big he is three months th well three and a half months old i guess now um and he is a chunker and sleepy right now usually you can get some really sweet smiles out of him but i don't think that's gonna happen let's see if he sees himself do you see yourself what is that <laughs> no you're not having it are you i think i'm gonna go pass him off to travis really quick and then <laughs> come back and talk to you guys for a minute there's your blue eyes there's your blue eyes <laughs> okay got him situated the boys are outside playing too but him and travis are on the porch swinging um like i was saying i just kind of lost my motivation there for a little bit and that happens occasionally and instead of putting my pressure or putting pressure on myself this time feeling like I like absolutely had to get videos out because I don't know like when I say I'm going to do something I feel obligated obviously to do that and fulfill that but I just took a little bit of time and enjoyed the family over the summer and then we had all the sickness going on <sighs> so anyway I'm here I'm not going to like say what kind of schedule I'm going to be on. I'm going to do it as I'm able because I do like being here and showing up for you guys and posting grocery hauls and doing meal stuff when I'm able to but I don't want it to stress me out and feel pressured to get things out. I can't quit talking with my hands <laughs> but it's okay. Anyway today I've got a very large grocery haul um, kind of a back to school grocery haul plus we're out of a lot of things like I said we've been sick so we just hadn't been going regularly to the grocery store. That's another reason I haven't done grocery hauls because the last few weeks it's just been sporadic getting a few things here and there that we need to make meals and that sort of thing. We've been eating out way too much and we're cracking down and getting back into the groove. Um, so this is a very large one. Like I said, we got several things that weren't groceries too. So I'll put the total of everything broken down into the groceries and non-groceries here on the screen because when we went, they were out of a couple things and then they substituted some things that I didn't get a chance to accept or decline it never showed up so when we got there i had to tell them no for a few of those things um so i'm not sure what the price ended up being i know it was over 200 dollars originally it was close to 300 but now it's probably a little less but still a lot more than our norm we're trying to stay around 150 prices just keep going up so who even knows at this point it's just all crazy but i'll go ahead and turn you around and show you all of this um yeah let's get and sorry if my voice sounds awful, like I said, got a sinus infection or something, I don't even know. And we're not doing these groceries on the kitchen table today because we got Legos going on over there from their birthday. Right here, we'll start with these snacky snacks. We've got some Slim Jims. This is actually one of the substitutions. I'd order it original, substituted it for mild. I'm not even sure that I know the difference or if there is a difference. Got some Chex Mix, mainly for me. Got that for me. I like to have the peanut butter crackers. Porter does sometimes too. And then we all like these cheese Ritz crackers. Got a box of chips. The individual ones, just keep it simple. I think they're actually kind of on sale too. I don't know if it's really a sale when it's not something for a box. I still have not been able to get to Sam's Club. I really need to go though because we're out of paper towels and running out of toilet paper. And that's like my two main things that I like to get there. Obviously lots of other stuff too, but like that's when I know I need to go. Um, and I'd ordered another box of like baked chips variety pack but they're out of it and they substituted it for another box of these and I declined that one because I didn't want two of the same ones. Thought these iced animal cookies would be yummy. The kids will probably enjoy that but these aren't actually the kind that I thought I was getting. I thought I got the ones that like had the icing with the little sprinkles on it. The real good ones. But these will be good too. <laughs> um, the kids always like to snack on some chicken and biscuits. I think they're pretty good too. And I got me some of these peanut butter pretzels. Hadn't had these in a really long time. Like a really, really long time. Probably a few years. So I thought those would be good to snack on. I'm like having trouble having snacks. And I'm struggling with lunches a little bit too. Um, just being at home with the baby and stuff. So I need something, some easy grab and go snacks and lunches. And I've got a couple lunch ideas over here too. Um, one of the things that I 
stay snacking on is like little individual things of trail mix but they did not have that that was one of the things that was unavailable some of the fruits and veggies right here we've got a red onion some garlic cuties for the kids lunches mainly grant i'm not even sure that poor likes those i don't think he does he tries them every once in a while but then like the texture of the peeling on it <laughs> He's not a fan of but we still keep introducing it you know over time maybe he'll end up liking it you know as usual if you've been around for a while we all love us some honey crisp apples so got a big old bag of those got some tomatoes for blts some jalapenos back here i did like half a pound because in the past that had been more than enough but they gave us some giant jalapenos so these were for bacon wrapped jalapenos i guess me and travis are the only ones that would be eating those anyway so eight it would make eight essentially i guess and that would probably be more than enough anyway so that's probably perfect um got a red bell pepper some grapes strawberries shredded lettuce some lim uh, some a lemon and a lime um this is actually going to be it's something that i made recently uh that was really good it turned out really good it was cucumber salsa and you like kind of make up your own dressing for it and it's really really yummy so i got that for that for the dressing part and then we've got a cucumber two avocados i've been liking doing avocado toast that's mainly what that's for um missed the milk back here we got two percent milk and then i have been doing the almond breeze milk unsweetened vanilla i think it tastes good to me i don't really drink the milk in my cereal i kind of just you know strain <laughs> the milk off of the cereal and then eat the cereal and I don't drink the milk because I don't really like milk. So to me, it doesn't really matter which one I'm using. I don't know. <laughs> the kids actually like that one too. So we got some smoked sausage. And I'm not even sure that I've got a full meal plan for the week. I know I've got like several meals. Like four, I think. Four, maybe five. I'll share it at the end just to give you some ideas of what we're planning for the week. It's nothing fancy. Um, we got some fully cooked bacon. I went ahead and bought a box of it because I haven't been to Sam's Club, but that's where the best deal is for this ready cooked bacon. Um, so when I go, I'm definitely getting it. This was a substitution. I'd ordered just a regular type of hot dogs, I guess, that weren't beef. They substituted it for beef, with beef, which is perfectly fine. This, I'd ordered a cheaper brand, the Lando Frost. They substituted it for great value, family size. And the whole reason I did that was because the bait, or not bacon, the ham that I got the last time, it was the name brand of this, you know, and it was uh, sliced though so thin. Like, I know it's thin sliced. We've gotten it for years, no problems, but this was just falling apart. It wasn't even a slice. It was just pieces in the pack, and it was absolutely ridiculous. So I was getting a different brand this kind, but maybe great, great value is better than the name brand of this one. Who knows? We did get some chicken breast. Probably use half of this for a meal and then put the rest of it in the freezer for another meal. I think that was my plan with it and then we've got some bacon which is going to be for the bacon wrapped jalapenos it's just the walmart thick slice bacon it's pretty good and the price is better obviously um but we're using that for the jalapeno popper things and then also for blts i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the meal plan apparently <laughs> well some of it anyway we've got some salsa i was out of that and i didn't realize how much i use salsa until I was out of it for several days and I kept making things or wanting to make things like quesadilla or different things that I wanted salsa with that I didn't have any. So got one. Probably stock up, stock up on that if I find it at Sam's also. We'll see. We were out of green beans so I got a four pack of that. We had one more can of peas so I went ahead and got two more to keep on hand. We like us some mashed potatoes and peas from time to time. I got this kind of bread. It, I, I don't know if they changed the name or if I actually got a different kind. I used to get like the health nut bread. I really like doing that for the avocado toast. I don't know why. It just tastes really good with it. And I like the little texture of this bread. Um, but I didn't see health nut bread on the app this time. So I don't know if they changed it to oat nut or if this is different. It looked the same though. So I don't know. Then I also got some regular bread for the kids. This is a substitution also. It's a different brand but not a big deal. Got a big old box of the flavor blasted goldfish. They're just extra yummy compared to the normal goldfish they've got an extra layer of the cheese on it and it's yummy um cereal i don't think i actually told you this one but there's some fro blah, i can't talk got some frosted mini wheats 
mini spooners is what they call them when it's the off brand but that's what we got also got some honey nut cheerios and raisin bran i like raisin bran a lot too i always like to keep some tortellini on hand this is one of my lunches that i make a lot and i put some like butter and pesto and a little bit of parmesan cheese and it turns out really yummy and it's obviously really quick so that's one of my go-to's i'll cook either half of a bag or a whole bag and have it for leftovers that sort of thing and I do plan on making some pimento cheese for lunches and some chicken salad and then I'll have some deviled eggs and then I also got some of these things for myself for lunches um I've never tried this one there's like a Mexican bowl some kind of thing that I've had a long long time ago when I was like a teenager I'm pretty sure and they still have it and I remember liking it in that brand in general um I have had the burritos before and so I thought I would try these enchiladas they're just veggie with like corn and tomatoes and stuff in it they look good and then I got two bean and rice cheddar cheese burritos too in that same brand got some more tortilla chip bowl things for that cucumber salsa that I'm doing it's really yummy y'all if you want the, me to put the recipe I might find it and put it in the description box for you guys if you want to try it out it's got like um the sauce that you make and then cucumbers you can add um the bell pepper i do an onion in it what else do i put in it i can't even remember tomato i don't know I, that might be it that might be all that's in it but um the sauce is just really good and you can add cilantro but i don't because travis doesn't like cilantro um but it lasts for a couple days really yummy easy snack or you know side for your lunch got some meatballs to do the grape jelly meatballs will probably do that one night for a meal sometime and then send some um, in Grant's lunch, probably Porter too, um, in a thermos the next day. So that'd be easy. Got two more boxes of the Great Value yogurts for the boys. And then this was another substitution I ordered Great Value Greek yogurt, just plain Greek yogurt. And they substituted it for Chobani. And I got that for a chicken recipe that I'm going to do in the air fryer that I'm excited about. We were out of like all the cheeses, so we got some mozzarella, sharp cheddar. These are all um, the four cup bags, I believe. Fiesta blend cheese was almost out. And then we were out of string cheese as well, which I snack on a lot. And then I usually kind of snack on this and a Slim Jim together, and it's really yummy. And then Porter likes these too. Um, we were out of butter sticks. I'm telling y'all, we were out of a lot of stuff. Cream cheese, almost out of, out, completely out of eggs this past week. Um, so we got an 18 count of those. Um, I had gotten one of these a while back with like coupons and I bought an offer. And so I got this again. The kids like it. Travis likes it. I personally like my water plain, but it's one of those water mix-ins and it's no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or preservative, preservatives. So I don't know. They like it. So heavy whipping cream to make Alfredo with. We've got hard boiled eggs. That's what I like to make deviled eggs out of. Just a, another cheat way. You know, sometimes I don't care to stick them in the Instant Pot and cook them that way. But, you know, at this phase of life with the three-month-old and everything, um, this is where I'm at most days. <laughs> some days it works out, but most days we're here. <laughs> also got some Capri Suns. Thought I might send one with the kids every once in a while. And then, you know, at home too. And then another substitution was these Gatorades. I'd gotten the smaller ones. That's... I don't remember how many comes in at like 12 or something like that but they substitute it for the big eight count ones and i think that was all the groceries except there's a big old case of waters in the floor um here with me along with some other bags and stuff in the floor and then non-groceries we've got a two count of bounty paper towels we needed some more um detergent so got some of that let's see what else is under here white spoons i got some spoon like uh I got some disposable spoons for their lunches occasionally when they have stuff that, you know, they need a spoon for, obviously. <laughs> and then we needed some gallon freezer bags, so I got the Great Value 40 count of that. And then we were almost out of aluminum foil, so I got some of that. And three more boxes of Kleenexes. Like I said, we can't keep the sickness away. <laughs> they, the boys pretty much have allergies all the time. I think I need to go to an ENT personally because I keep getting sinus infections. Um, so I don't know what's up with that, but we'll figure it out eventually, right? Anyway, that was a ton of groceries and now it is a really long grocery haul. And I'm going to try and tell you the meal plan really quick. <laughs>
Okay, so for the meal plan, we plan to do some air fryer chicken parmesan type thing where you like roll it in Greek yogurt, then blend up some cheese and breadcrumbs together and stick it in the air fryer and cook it that way. I think it sounds really good. And I'm probably gonna start that with some Alfredo noodles probably, Let's see. Um, probably, I think. We might do a different kind of sauce instead, actually. But the next night, we're gonna use, if I have leftover Alfredo, if we do Alfredo, I'm gonna do it with our sausage, like the smoked sausage. Absolutely love that with Alfredo. That's my favorite thing with it. And then another night, we're gonna do the baked wrapped jalapenos, green beans, corn on the cob, and rolls. Got my phone here, if you're wondering what I'm looking at. <laughs> we were gonna do a crock pot ravioli dish, but they were out of ravioli, so we're not doing that. Um, instead, we'll probably do the crock pot meatballs, and then probably breakfast for supper one night, take out as usual, and fend for yourself one night. Sometimes spin for yourself happens more than one night. Takeout sometimes happens more than one night. Sometimes cereal happens. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it could be anything. But that's the plan for the week. Whether it happens or not, it doesn't always, but it helps definitely tremendously to have a plan at least. Because sometimes I'm like, what in the world are we going to make? Oh, let me look. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about it. You know what I mean? So it just makes it a lot easier. And I also usually write down in my phone lately like my ideas that I had for lunch because I can't think during the day when all the chaos is happening or when the baby's crying you know how it is and same with snacks and what I bought things to use up that way it doesn't go in the freezer and I forget all about it even though that happens sometimes too so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all of our chaos this is definitely a larger grocery haul than we're used to but um, let me know what you guys are buying for back to school foods and lunches and snacks and that sort of thing because I could use some inspiration as well. My kids are kind of picky when it comes to lunches. They kind of, but they're also okay with having the same thing every single day, but I like to switch it up a little bit. You know what I mean? So anyway, hope you guys are having a good day and enjoying the rest of your summer if you're not back to school yet. And if you are back to school, then it's been a, been a good transition for everybody. Grant started kindergarten this year and Porter is a pre-K and I think their, their rooms are actually like next to each other. So it's been kind of fun. If you did like the video, then give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.